What's up guys, Nurse Blake here, and welcome to simplenursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our new study guides not on YouTube. Click the link right up here anytime during this video. All right, let's begin. Now, let's talk about the pharmacology. For moderate cases, we want to use NSAIDs like ibuprofen, Advil, endomethacin, and aspirin. But make sure you monitor the side effects, including GI upset and bleeding. And with these meds, you want to take them with food or a full glass of water. And we could also use colchicine for reoccurring pericarditis, usually given for gout, but it has been shown to decrease inflammation in the heart for pericarditis. But important for this medication, we want our patients to avoid the intake of grapefruit because this will block absorption. We also have endomethacin as an alternative to NSAIDs used to relieve pain, swelling, and joint stiffness caused by arthritis or gout, but it helps with inflammation and pericarditis too. And lastly, for GI protection, we want to use proton pump inhibitors. And these medications end in prazole, omeprazole, pantoprazole, and we use these meds as gastric protection with NSAIDs and just the stress of being in the hospital. They turn down the volume of gastric acid production in the GI, so you don't burn a hole in there and get an ulcer. Now for severe cases, we're gonna use corticosteroids, used for their anti-inflammatory effects, and they end in zone, prednisone, dexamethasone, and educate the patient on the side effects. We're gonna use the four Bs, blood sugar that is high because insulin is suppressed, brittle bones, because calcium leaves from the GI, big weight gain from water retention, bad infections because this drug makes them immunosuppressed, so they're gonna have a low white blood cell count. And because of a lower white blood cell count, this patient is gonna be more at risk for infection, so educate them on fever, persistent sore throat, and slower wound healing. And teach your patients to never stop prednisone treatment, but to gradually decline and taper off in steps because it could cause adrenal crisis if it stopped abruptly. Now, if all else fails, we can always rely on a good old fashioned surgical intervention. Pericardiosynthesis, where a needle is inserted into the pericardium to aspirate the fluid from the pericardial space that surrounds the heart to drain all that excess fluid. This procedure can be life-saving, especially in severe cases. If that sac starts filling too much, that the heart nearly stops pumping altogether, like in cardiac tamponade. This is some crazy medieval pulp fiction type stuff, but it works and it will save lives. And just an FYI, it is important to have an NG tube placed prior to this procedure because we want to decompress the stomach and prevent chances of puncturing it. And that wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click up right here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts for helping us make these great videos. See you guys next time.